Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Missy Yondo. I'm the owner of Slumber and Bloom. I'm a certified pediatric sleep consultant with my degree in child life psychology and child development. Today, I wanted to talk to you about my favorite white noise machine, the Hatch. If you have been in the parenting world for a while, you will know that there are so many different products out there and every single person is gonna have their own opinion, so of course, yes, I have mine too. First things first, this is not a paid advertisement. Hatch does not know that I'm making this video and I am in my neighbor's bedroom. Well, my neighbor's child's bedroom. The absolute number one most favorite thing that I love about the Hatch is the app. Now, as you can see, I have the hatch already set to the red light setting. You can do that right on your phone. I went straight to the customized color because I wanted it to be as red as possible since red is not going to stimulate the baby's brain if and when the baby wakes up through the night and sees the light. Any other color is going to stimulate their brain and signal to their brain that it's time to wake up and to stop the production of melatonin. So we're gonna keep it on red so that they stay in bed. One of the features about the phone app that I really like, other than the fact that you can control it from your phone when you're in the living room, is that you can control the lightness or the darkness. So I just dimmed the light all the way off. And now I have it at about 55%. And now I have it at 100%, which I'll leave it at 100% for this video, just for the sake of showing you. But when your child is asleep and you know that they're asleep for the night, then you can go ahead and dim it down. It doesn't have to be all the way off, but if you wanna keep it on red, that would be perfectly fine. Now, the other thing that I really like is that you can control the volume from your phone. So again, you could be in the living room and maybe the dog starts barking and you don't want the baby to wake up. Cue white noise. Now I didn't even touch it. Isn't that awesome? It's an amazing technological feature that you can control this directly from your phone. This is not something that I had with my kids when they were younger, as my oldest is now 10 years old. If this was around when I had my youngest, or my oldest and my youngest, then I definitely would have bought this. So we talked about controlling the color, we talked about controlling the sound. It also has a tab for favorites where you can pre-program your favorite settings for different times of the day. So maybe this is nap time and your nap time volume needs to be louder than your nighttime volume, then you can just quickly tap on those. The other thing that it has, which I actually don't care for and I would never use this feature, but it does have the timer. You could use it for nap times, but I would try and keep the white noise going all night long. You wanna keep the white noise going going all night steady through the night so that there's no like direct stopping sound and your baby's not being woken up. And of course, if they have siblings or anybody else in the house, like if your bedrooms are close to each other and maybe you're waking up in the night to go to the bathroom and you don't want that to wake up your kid, just keep the white noise on all night long. But for naps, you can definitely set it for a duration so that if you want your baby to take a two hour nap, you can set the timer for two hours so that when the white noise does go off, it's totally fine and it won't impact their sleep because it's okay for them to be awake if it does wake them up. One of my favorite features on the app is the programs. So the programs are amazing. It does have a time to rise program, a nap time program, and a bedtime program. So you can already have all of these preset in your phone. So here my neighbor has time to rise is between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. every day. They would just toggle that switch on and and it's set ready to go and it'll just go automatically. They have nap time set from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. every day with the white noise feature on, so that will automatically work for them. And then they have bedtime from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. and that is when the light will be red and the baby will stay in bed or your toddler, which brings me to my next point. The okay to wake feature of this hatch makes it 10 times more worth it than any other white noise machine, and I will tell you why. As your child gets older, their sleep needs are obviously going to change, but their behavior is also going to change. When you have the hatch, and your child is already used to this system. They already know that red means bed, green you can be seen. So I always recommend that for that time to wake and that okay to wake time, that you change the light to green or yellow. They can rise like the sun, but one of those colors is usually better than the other unless you have a toddler who's very particular about their colors and they absolutely need it to be blue or something. But when you use this from the time your baby is a newborn, through their toddlerhood, preschool years, all that time, your child is used to one certain way of going to bed and waking up in the morning, and it's not going to be that big of a change for them. So reinforcing them staying in bed and 
especially when you make the transition from crib to toddler bed, using this hatch and making sure that they know red means bed, green we can be seen, and reinforcing that with a reward system is just the icing on the cake because they're already gonna know that this hatch exists and they're less likely to fight having a new appliance or whatever item in their bedroom telling them basically what to do. Now, of course, we know that kids can't tell time, so when it comes to toddlers and preschoolers, using the color system is a great system to use. And like I said before, pairing it with a reward system is going to go a very long way with stubborn toddlers. The last thing that I wanted to say that I love about the hatch is that it is very easy to travel with. All you have to do is plug it in and unplug it. You only need Bluetooth connection to connect your hatch to your phone. So as long as you have Bluetooth, you should be totally fine. And it's so easy to travel with and it's just this small little lightweight thing that's barely gonna take up any room at all. I'm giving the hatch a five out of five. I love the hatch. I think it is a great investment that is going to carry with your child all the way from infancy all the way through preschool age and beyond. Some kids still enjoy having a nightlight when they are a little bit older, but like I said, we try to keep it on that red setting. Even if your child wants to fall asleep with maybe their favorite color on, then you can also have a setting in there so that at a certain time, maybe your kid goes to bed at seven and they want it to be blue, then you can change it to red at eight o'clock when you know that they're sleeping and then don't change the color again until the morning and just teach them that when they're sleeping, the light has to be red. If you like product review videos like this one, leave me a comment in the comment section down below at the bottom of this video. Just scroll down, leave a little comment. Let me know what you would love to have me do a review on and I would love to do that. If you have not seen my slumber pod review yet, check that out after this video and keep blooming. Mwah.